What's up, Internet? This is Hourglass Gaming. I'm back from the woods and back at home, and over the last few days I've been able to put some time into Titanfall's third DLC, IMC Rising. This DLC was released on September 25th. Unfortunately, I was in the wilderness at the time, but now I'm back and you can look forward to more videos featuring this and other content. So how does IMC Rising stack up against Titanfall's other DLC content? IMC Rising, like other DLCs for Titanfall, includes three new maps, Zone 18, Backwater, and Sand Trap. Like the other DLCs, IMC Rising focuses on maps themed around the IMC's attempt to consolidate their resources and hunt down militia cells after being cut off in the frontier. Backwater centers around a raid on ex-IMC pilot Barker's bootleg rice wine operation. The map is set high in the mountains with rice paddies reminiscent of Nepal and the Himalayas. A large building dominates the center of the map with elevated train tracks moving out of the facility and small outlying buildings dot the landscape. Zone 18 is a secret IMC robotics development facility set into the wilderness. Buildings are covered in foliage for camouflage and inner building movement is changed from Titanfall's routine by moving downward rather than upward. Titans are confined to narrow corridors in the trenches between buildings. Sand Trap is a recommissioned fuel refinery, which again sends pilots down rather than up for their escape from Titans. The map feels reminiscent of old World War II tank games, with Titans cresting sand dunes and firing on one another at range. Wall running is primarily engaged in the narrow spaces above the fuel reservoir, but below the sandy ground level. All in all, I'm a little disappointed with IMC Rising. The maps are fun and an interesting change to Titanfall's usual style, but they don't hold up to the gameplay standards that the rest of the game achieves. The new maps try to change up Titanfall's map formula by experimenting with new forms on the classic cat and mouse gameplay that defines Titanfall. In the classic game, and in Titanfall's previous DLCs, pilots escape Titans by moving upwards and using positions of height advantage and inaccessibility to Titans in order to escape or harrow their enemies. IMC Rising tries to change this formula by sending pilots underground. This works fine in the escape, with pilots still being allowed to take shelter in buildings or trenches, but it severely handicaps pilots' abilities to engage enemy Titans. In many IMC Rising maps, if pilots can engage Titans, the Titans can also engage the pilots. The mobility of the pilots doesn't work in their favor in the same way that it does in most Titanfall maps. I found in my sessions that when I played as a pilot, I was very often unable to engage Titans with the same effectiveness as I could on other maps. When you're above a building, you can break line of sight and still engage enemies from cover with grenades, mag launchers, and strafing. But if you're on the same level or below your enemy, then you can't engage them without risking return fire. And in that case, the asymmetry between pilot and titan leads to a substantial advantage for the titan. In IMC Rising, spaces of vertical advantage are highly exposed and don't offer the cover necessary to protect pilots that hold the high ground from titans or even other pilots. I think this issue is at the core of why IMC Rising doesn't play as well as the other DLCs or the vanilla game. It's an experiment in how to break up the game's level design and create something new. I don't want to condemn the expansion because I think experimentation is important. Experimenting with how to make a shooter that isn't Call of Duty is what gave us Titanfall, and I applaud the developers for continuing to play with how the game works and break out of formulaic level design. I think the idea of going below is interesting, and it's definitely a lot of fun to run above the reservoir and sand trap, but this can't be a replacement for the verticality that is so vital to the balance of the game. Pilots can't engage Titans on level ground and come out on top, so vertical redoubts are something I think the game will need for a long time at least until gameplay changes elsewhere in the game's formula occur. If you picked up the Titanfall Season Pass, then IMC Rising is certainly worth your time. But if you're buying Titanfall DLCs individually, then I think your money would be better spent on Frontier's Edge or Expedition. Titanfall also has some news to discuss. In the IMC Rising live stream, they said they'd be doing another live stream in about a month and that they were really excited about it, but that they couldn't talk about it yet. There is suspicion on the internet that this will be some sort of horde co-op survival mode. A user on Reddit took a screenshot of their loadouts page and noticed that the game mode Frontier Defense was listed. I'll leave a link of the image in the video description. It's possible that this mode will be some sort of survival mode and could potentially feature the game's large animals or robots as logical enemies. I would personally love to see this. I was a huge fan of Nazi zombies in high school and I really enjoy cooperative play, so it would be awesome to see a mode like this come to Titanfall. But what do you guys think? Did you enjoy IMC Rising, or were you faintly disappointed with it like me? What would you like to see out of a survival mode in Titanfall? As always, I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more gameplay and commentary, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.